I'm driving down an empty freeway. No waiting for the light to change. I'm seeing the sunrise behind. Roll down only the small of your back into the floor. And do not let those shoulder blades roll down. Keep your chin tucked in and lower back flat against the floor. If you want, you can rest your head on the floor or you can take it a little harder by lifting the head off the floor. Keep both legs off the floor at all times and pulse twice before you switch. Be careful with this one and do not arch the lower back off the floor. If you can't, make sure you get support from your hands by touching the floor on the sides. Reach with your shoulder for the knee, not with your elbow. Rounding your back, roll down and up on your spine without letting your neck or your head touch the floor. Keep them off and just roll on your spine. These gentle twists on your spine will get it ready for more vigorous rotational movements during your workout. Start with your pelvis by tilting it backwards and lifting it off the floor. Go through the vertebrae one by one to roll the entire spine off and back onto the floor. With these ones, you're going to tilt your pelvis back to get rid of the hollow space underneath your lower back and make your back nice and straight and hold it there for 5 seconds and repeat. Now we're going to do the hip thrusts. There are no spinal movements, only the hip joint moves through hip extension. 
Pull those knees into your chest, relax, get up and get ready for your workout.